Hey guys, a little video for myself. Yeah, I think it's been a few weeks since my last video. Seems like I haven't done one for a while. Uh, and yeah, not a lot of painting time lately as well. Uh, just the past week, I have managed to finish off some figures, which I've had on the, the painting desk for quite a while now. Uh, yeah, so I thought I'd make a... Well, have a little change from Napoleonic's and American Civil War. And... I've been painting up some of the sprues that, which were given out free with the War Games Illustrated magazine. So, yeah, I had this sprue of Imperial Romans, Warlord Games, and, and another little sprue of Caesarian Romans, again, Warlord Games as well. So, I decided to paint them all at the same time and just get them all, all done. Uh, as I say, it was different from painting my usual types of figures. And... Yeah, in the beginning, I nearly stopped painting them. I wasn't really in the mood, but yeah, once I got past that and started adding on some details and that, yeah, I quite enjoyed it, actually. And these ones you see in front of you, these are the Imperial Romans, all the games figures, all plastics. And yeah, after painting these, I did think if I was going to do a little collection of these, this would probably be the sort of paint and style I would use for them. I actually did them quite quickly. Most of the paint used on these figures was the uh, Games Workshop Citadel contrast paints with a few additional paints just for, mostly for highlighting. And yeah, as I say, if I was going to have a big collection of Imperial Romans, I would probably just go over this. This, eh... Uh, paint style, uh, and, and yeah, I'll probably get through them quite quick. I remember when uh, Von Kettling and Fraser was painting his Romans collection, uh, yeah, I remember, I remember him mentioning how he, how he was doing his ones, the armour colour, and then the wash, and then building up from there, and I've did, well, apart from, uh, yeah, so the armour was painted, the Citadel paints and then a wash, but the other colours, the reds and everything else, that was all contrast paints. And the shield transfers, they were actually from Battle Flag. Uh, yeah, it's the first time I've ever used transfers like that. Uh, so the first one, I think I pulled it off again, I tore it, and yeah, it was a bit tricky. Once I once I sat down and had a look and cut, yeah, really figured out how I was going to get the transfers on without making a mess of it. Uh, yeah, I got there in the end, and they were shiny when they went on, but I actually gave them a thin down wash, uh, yeah, the Citadel Agrax Earth Shade, and then all the figures were finished off with the Winsor & Newton matte varnish, which really tones everything down, so it was nice, it took a shine out the shield, so yeah, so as I say, yeah, there's 10 figures uh, on the sprue, uh, in fact, to be honest, that's quite a good giveaway that with the magazine. Ten figures. Yeah. Especially twenty well, these are actually more like twenty-five mil scale. I've noticed they're a bit smaller than the other ones. Uh, yeah, I'll just give you a little turn around. As I say, first time I've painted Romans for a long, long time. I think the last time I painted Romans it was probably the Airfix ones when I was a <laughs> a young lad. Uh, yeah, if I, if I was able to paint them up to this sort of standard, I'd have been really <laughs> uh, as you can see the red there, that's the contrast paint uh, without any highlighting at all and that was, these were painted over the, I think it's the grey sear base coat uh, and then the flesh, I gave that a base of the, is it the wraith bone and then I used the contrast flesh wash over there, no highlighting at all I just left it the way it was uh, Quite pleased with that finish. And as I say, if they were, you know, in mass, these figures like this, I think they look quite good. I think the shield transfers really did finish them off. It gives them that extra bit of detail. Uh, you see these two two chaps in the front here. I'll just grab my pointy thing, <laughs> an old brush. Uh, yeah, if I can just uh, focus in on this guy. I really like this chap here in the front. The helmet, yeah, the, like the armoured helmet, yeah, really nice figure that, really impressed with that. So, just to make him stand out, I gave him the round shield as well. 
there was a couple of round shield transfers on that sheet from Battle Flag as well, so I thought I would utilise that and just make that guy stand out a wee bit different. Uh, and this other chart, I really like the head on this guy. This guy here, with the bandaged, bareheaded and bandaged over half his face. I really like that one as well. So, yeah, I've, I did three, you'll see three guys at the back with the, uh, well, the pillum, the spears, and the rest of the guys have got the gladius, the short sword. So, yeah, that's that one's there. As I say, yeah, I'm quite pleased with them. I'm not sure I'm going to keep them, or I might just pop them onto eBay. So, I'll move these to the side. And I'll bring in the other one. As I say, this is the other three Spirit of the War games, only slated. And these are the Warlord games figures again. The Caesarian Romans, uh, yeah. In fact, there's probably less detail on, I, I mean, to paint <laughs> on these than the others. Uh, these are actually really nice figures. Uh, these are slightly taller than the other ones. These, these are more 228mm scale. Uh, yeah, slightly different posing with the arms. I didn't go for transfers for these just because there was the four figures, so I just left them. I gave them... Uh, so sort of two shades of red on the shield and just a wash with the Agrap's air shade just to dull it down and make it look a, a little bit dirty-ish. Uh, so yeah, again, quite enjoyed painting these. As I say, yeah, quite, quite taken with these figures actually, they're quite nice. Uh, yeah, most, as I say, most of the contrast paints and it's all, I think, I think the majority of everything Citadel paints as well. I think maybe one or two Vallejos, but everything else was all Citadel. You'll notice the short, the, sorry, the sword sheaths and the sandals and all that. That was just the contrast leather paint over the top of the uh, grey sear undercoat. Uh, you can see, no, let's, let's see if I lift up a figure actually. Uh, let's have a little look here and see if I can get my fingers out of the way as well. <laughs> Yeah, uh, focus in a little bit. Yeah, so you'll see the sandals and the, the sword sheath and the belt. And uh, yeah, it really does uh, settle in and bring out the details and gives you, it actually highlights it for you. So yeah, I've, I've heard mixed reviews about the contrast paints, but I think they've certainly got a use. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm using them so much, about using them so much on my Napoleon figures. Apart from maybe doing the base coats with them because it gives you two shades already and then you can just finish off with an extra highlight on top of, top of that. So, yeah, well, I did use the red wash in my last unit of Highlanders, actually, and it turned out quite well. Speeded up the the jackets and that a little bit. So, so yeah, the details come out quite well. So, what I did, I said, I got the, apart from the contrast paints, the other flat colours were just put on and then everything was washed with uh, an Agrax Earthshade wash. Even the plume on top of the helmet. Oh, really dropped them. That was the, uh, that's just the, the black contrast paint over the, the grey base coat as well. That's come out fine. I mean, yeah, if I really wanted to, I could have put another highlight on the flesh, uh, little bits here and there. But no, I thought I'll just leave it at that and just to see how they would turn out using that method quick method they really these four guys took no time at all but as i say they are actually nice figures i really like these uh, in fact when i started painting all the figures i prefer these to the imperial romans uh, don't know why <laughs> but i did uh, but saying that just turn these facing around again but saying that in the end when i finished off the imperial romans uh, shield transfers and all i must admit I think it turned out really good, and I could, I could uh, imagine a, a huge sort of army of those guys done that uh, method paint, and, and I think they would look really good actually. But uh, yeah, so that's my little venture into the, the Romans, uh, cleared a couple of spoons off the paint and desk as well, so that was good. Uh, just to finish off guys, uh, I'll just move these along a little bit, so that's... Two lots of Roman figures painted up. Three sprues from the War Games Illustrated, so yeah, that was good. And I'll just turn the camera around. I'll give you a wee look at the workbench at the moment. So 
Hopefully now I'm going to start getting a bit more paint to time in. I'm quite looking forward to getting stuck at these figures. So I'll swing around. So on the, the table here, you'll see just at the back on your left hand side, there's six Perry Miniatures Metal American Civil War Commanders. Three Union at the back and three Confederate ones just in front of them. Uh, these packs include Meade for the Union and Lee for the Confederate. So I've just got the base coats on as you can see. In front of them is the four, oh, not focus down, is the four figure sprue, three from War Games Illustrated again, Warlord Games French. I've got, I've did these before, so I'm just going to paint these four up and probably pop them onto eBay. Uh, yeah, just, I don't really need them. I'll just paint them along with the other figures. And you'll see just behind them, you'll get a better look at these guys when they're finished off. But these guys are actually eagle figures. It's the first time I've ever bought in these figures. I painted them. And these are the Italian Guard de Corps. Eh, sorry, Guard de Honor figures. Eh, so yeah, we've got a unit of nine figures. We've got six troopers. We've got a guy the mirror at the back there. Officer with the sword upright. And then the trumpet there just in the front there. He's just... I'm a bit behind with him, <laughs> but he's, he'll be getting the rest of his base colours on, hopefully this weekend. So that's the next unit that will hopefully get finished off. Uh, so I'll get a better look at them when they're done. As I say, we've got American Civil War, American Civil War Commanders, and these guys, uh, Warlord Games French at the front there. So that's, that's on the workbench at the moment, so hopefully in the next few weeks they'll all be finished as well, and we'll do another video to showcase them. So, in the meantime guys, I'm going to just zoom out and try and get most of them, all of them in the shot. Uh, so yeah, a little change myself. Warlord Games, plastic Roman figures, Imperial Romans and Caesarian Romans. Uh, nice little change, enjoy painting them. Mostly painted with contrast paints and they've turned up really well. So yeah, hope you found that interesting and a wee change from myself. Uh, as I, as I say, it's normally Napoleonic, so American Civil War, so yeah, a nice little change there. And uh, watching all the videos, guys, click on the like button. I think I'm just about caught up now, that's why I probably haven't been commenting so much. I'm just trying to catch up on all the videos. Yeah. So yeah, really enjoying it. So again, thanks for watching this one, guys, and hopefully I'll be back in another video soon. Cheers now, bye-bye.